Good evening. I'd like to call everyone back to their seats. I'll give you a minute to settle down. My name is Jill Arbeter, and I'm the Executive Director of the Elmar Oliveira International Violin Competition. It has been an absolutely amazing two weeks. Um, it's hard to believe that, we're, that almost three years ago we were standing here on this exact spot announcing our inaugural, inaugural winner, Serena Huang. Tonight you will be hearing from Dr. Kevin Ross, President of Lynn University, our host, Elmar Oliveira, the Founder and Artistic Director of the EOIVC, and the Chairman of our jury, David Cerrone, who will announce the final placement prizes. We have a lot to cover, so, and I know that everyone is very anxious to know what the results are, so it is my extreme pleasure to welcome Dr. Pr Kevin Ross, President of Lynn University and our host for EOIVC 2020. Thank you very much, Jill. Before we get going here, um, there's a reason that this event is only every three years, because it is a bear to put on. So let's hear it for Jill, who does absolutely remarkable work to make this happen. We asked her backstage, she said, how are you going to decompress? What are you going to do? And she said, I'm going to Disney World. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Lynn University. Uh, we are honored once again to be the host of the world-renowned Elmar Olivara International Violin Competition and continue this very special partnership that helps realize Elmar's vision. It provides an unparalleled opportunity for student musicians and our conservatory music, which is celebrating its 20th year here at the university. This is an incredibly exciting time for our university and all the young violinists participating as they receive incredible support from a musician of Elmar's caliber while he helps ensure the success of the next generation of artists. At our conservatory, Dr. Jan Robertson likes to say, when talent meets inspiration, the results are extraordinary. And this competition certainly reflects that. Congratulations to all the talented participants, soon to be announced winners, as well as Dr. Jan Robertson, who has done an outstanding job leading our conservatory music as dean for the last 15 years, and the remarkable Elmar Olivara for bringing this successful competition to fruition here. So thank you all for joining us here at Lynn. It is my privilege now to welcome Elmar. Thank you. Oops. I forgot to put my glasses on. Ooh. I can see everybody now. <laughs> um, first of all, I want to thank Kevin, so much, uh, Lynn University, Lynn Conservatory, especially my dear friend, uh, Jan Robertson, who did a magnificent job tonight uh, conducting our Lynn Philharmonia Orchestra and the four finalists. Um, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but if it were not for Lynn Conservatory and Lynn University, this competition would not be here today. So thank you again very much. <clears throat> um, we will be hearing from our chairman of the jury, David Cerrone, in just a few moments. And he's going to introduce the uh, jury, and the competitors. Um, I have to say it's been an extraordinary journey from the submission process to our finals. Um, I can honestly say that, you, that we've all heard some really exceptional violin playing, exceptional musicianship here. Um, the mission of the Elmar Oliveira Violin Competition is to provide talented violinists, ages 16 to 32, who are starting their careers with networking, management, public relations, community engagements, and concert opportunities in addition to a monetary prize. These long-term development tools reach well beyond financial support 
and actively demonstrate EOIVC's dedication to cultivating and nurturing young musicians. This mission also parallels our jury selection, which was handpicked by me for their own commitment to nurturing the next generation of violinists. So right now, I'd like to introduce our chairman of, of the jury, David Cerrone. Stayed. It's wonderful. Thank you, Elmar, and congratulations on another incredibly successful and meaningful EOIBC competition. The level of playing was quite extraordinary from the nearly 70 young violinists from 19 countries who submitted applications. The future of violin playing looks very bright indeed. I also want to individually thank our incredible international panel of judges. You have been fair and thoughtful in your deliberations. Your commitment to the integrity of the competition is beyond reproach. Please come and join me on the stage. Andres Cardenas. Ilya Collar. <laughs> Sung Ju Lee. <laughs> Sylvia Markovici. Gerardo Ribeiro. Barry Schiffman. And Kathleen Winkler. Now I would like to welcome our four finalists to the stage in alphabetical order. Jungming Choi, 25, Korea. <laughs> Igor Kukua, 27, Russia. <laughs> Julian Rhee, 19, United States. And Vikram Francesco Sedona, 19, Italy. These four violinists will be awarded more than $140,000 in prizes. And someone will leave here tonight with new artist management and public relations support for three years, as well as more than 30 guaranteed national and international performances. I would like to outline the EOIVC 2020 awards and prizes as follows. The Community Engagement Award, $2,500 provided by Maurice Amato Foundation. Honorable Mention, $5,000 provided by the family of Gerald and Barbara Arbetter and the Goldberg Foundation in loving memory of Gerald and Barbara Arbetter. Third prize, $10,000 provided by Price Wealth Management. Silver mounted bow provided by Robert Ames Fine Violins. The second prize, $15,000 provided by David and Amy Fulton Foundation, a violin made by Luis Amorim of Amorim Fine Violins, Cremona, Gold Mounted Bow, also provided by Robert Ames. BAM Treble Violin Case and Bow Case, provided by Barnes Violins. And first prize, 
$30,000 provided by Elmar Oliveira and Sandra Robbins. Career support, including management and public relations representation. Silver mounted bow, inspired by Elmar Oliveira's Dominique Picot, provided by Rodney Moore. Musafia violin case, provided by Christopher Runing of Runing and Son Violins. A limited edition of the book Wanderer, Wanderer, provided by Bruce Babbitt. 30 guaranteed national and international performances. All of the finalists will receive a copy of the Essential Guide to Bows of, violin, of the Violin Family, provided by the author Gabriel Schaff. All the quarterfinalists will receive Presto Impulse Carbon Fiber Bows by Shar Music. On behalf of Elmar and the EOIBC, I want to thank the extraordinary graciousness of the many donors and sponsors who contributed these prizes. Now for the moment for which we've all been waiting. I will begin by announcing the winner of the Special Community Engagement Prize. This round is very special and unique. To date, the EOIVC is the first and only competition to include community engagement as part of its competitive process. Community engagement is very near and dear to Elmar's heart and is extremely important for the society as a whole. Elmar's commitment to inspiring the next generation of violinists to be citizen artists is truly special. The Community Engagement Prize is outside the scope of the overall judging and did not impact the final results. Finalists were judged by a special panel of four community partners. The winner of the Community Engagement Award is Julian Ree. Our honorable mention winner is Vikram Francesco Sedona. Third prize, Igor Kakua. Getting closer. Second prize, Jung Min Choi. And just to make it official, our first prize winner is Julian Ri. Please join me in congratula congratulating all of these immensely talented young artists and good evening. Thank you.